Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of working with graphic elements in Illustrator and bringing them into Adobe Arrow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this little rose asset that I created and talk about how to bring this in um, as a flat layer, but it'll be in 3D space in Adobe Arrow. So uh, Adobe Arrow only accepts certain file formats. Uh, for something like this, it's one layer. Again, I said I, I just want kind of this flat layer and it's a vector element. Um, I can't import an Illustrator file, but I can export or import something uh, called an SVG or scalable vector graphic. And I'm gonna call that flatrows.svg, export that out. Um, yeah, and let's let's bring that into Adobe Arrow and set that up. So I'm gonna create a new document. I'll call it Rose, a new project rather. Uh, hit this import button because I'm bringing in my own assets. Um, I can import this directly from my computer because I'm on the desktop app. Now, if I wanted to have this asset available to me on uh, the mobile app, if, it, if I were constructing my scene entirely on the mobile app, then I would want to make sure it's in the Creative Cloud files in my folder. So, you know, you should have access to your Creative Cloud files here in, in your finder, or you can go into the web browser, uh, go through Creative Cloud and access your files that way. Uh, take this and, you know, maybe I'll just scale this up a little bit. Um, one thing that's a little bit harder to know is what this will look like in real space. Um, you know, there, there's measurements here, but um, sometimes it's it's easier to see it in the actual space, but we're just gonna set it up here. And again, if I want to move around, I can hit one and uh, rotate around, hit two, pan, three is gonna give me this like zooming look. Okay, so that's me navigating and this is that flat asset in there. Let's go and do something else. Uh, I'm, I have another graphic that I created. This is two roses um, and I actually want this to, to be on separate layers so that I can kind of pull them apart in space and create some depth. Um, and you can, you'll can you see that I have uh, different elements isolated, the left rosebud, the left rose stem, the right rosebud, and the right rose stem. And uh, the layer order is important. You know, if I took these elements and I put them behind here, you know, you should see that they're you know, one is occluding the other, one is on top of, and that relationship is gonna be preserved in Adobe Arrow when I uh, bring it in. So whatever is on top is gonna be closer to us um, when we start separating it. Um, at, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you want it to appear in a certain way, you're gonna have to, have to layer these or order them. Uh, okay, so we can't bring in the Illustrator file, but we can bring in, um, so if we have multiple layers, Probably the best thing for us to do is do a Photoshop file. So we'll change the export uh, as Photoshop. That's gonna preserve all the layers uh, and then we can work with that in Adobe Arrow. So writing it as a Photoshop file. One thing I wanted to say about exporting uh, as a Photoshop file, um, I kind of jumped right over this, but let's say I was exporting this as a PSD. Again, um, I'm just gonna replace this. One thing to keep in mind is the resolution. Now I made this file, it's 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels, and that's not super large, um, but you probably don't need to make an image that's like 5,000 pixels, and you probably don't need to go a really high um, resolution unless you're working really small, because uh, these these are raster graphics, and in your scene, you know, if you see sort of fuzziness or pixel, um, some artifacts and things like that. Uh, just be aware of the relationship between uh, the resolution and the quality. And there is always that trade-off between uh, the quality and the speed of processing and sort of the ability to use it. So just be mindful of that. Let's go back into Adobe Arrow. We'll press import again. I should have my rose is PSD. Open that up. Uh, and it's gonna come in a little bit small, so let's scale it. Again, the scale tool is over here. I believe it's S for scale, and we'll you know, move that around. I wanna get to the side of this, and you can see right now everything is, actually there is, there is a little, it looks like there's a little bit of separation, but it's still, um, we, we can do more with this. 
Yeah, it looks like there is a little bit of separation. Um, if you go down into the properties down here, you should see something that says, wait, let me just bring my window up a little bit. I think I'm clipping it. Okay, layer spacing. So we can adjust this layer spacing. And now you're seeing we're really creating this separation and it's, it's gonna feel like it, there's more depth again if I uh, move around. I might start to see this. Oh, it looks like I turned that off. Okay, so let me go back and, yeah, maybe the flat rows needs to move back in space. I think you can hit E to push it, to change the move tool. And yeah, let's, let's just make sure they're not like overlapping. Um, for some reason, it keeps on switching in between. Um, this looks okay. I think maybe I can add a little bit more separation, maybe just for the... Oh, that's that's the size. My bad. Undo. Maybe add a little bit more depth. Uh, okay, so this file now is uh, it should be auto saving and it should be in the cloud. So the next step is to go out into the real world and uh, on the mobile app, you know, take this into a real space, track it to a space, and uh, yeah, create a video from this. Let me. One last thing. I just want to scoot it over a tiny bit. That's that's that and. Again, I should have this file called uh, Rose that I can pull up on my oops, uh, mobile app. Okay, so here I am in the mobile app. I've uh, opened up the file that I created and scan, slowly pan your device around the space to scan the space. Once we figure out the ground plane, we can import uh, or we can anchor this scene. Here I am uh, still in edit mode, just kind of walking around and making sure it looks right. Uh, we can make changes within the app. So we could go and select these items and we can you know, move them around, rotate, scale. We can even adjust the behaviors uh, and duplicate things. And you know, we, we can work in this app. I'm just doing some quick modifications, maybe just rotate it a little bit. Um, but there's, there's a lot you can do here. And again, this is in the cloud, so any changes you make should be updated. Uh, the next thing we'll do is press record, that red record button. And this is the result of recording from my phone. I just made these roses because I saw this rose mural and this is filmed in Portland, which is sometimes called the city of roses. So I was just riffing off of that. So uh, hopefully this gives you enough to start making your own graphics and taking them out into the real world.